I didn't know if you knew this, but yeah. evidently farmers markets are also racist. Uh, a, pair of, <laughs> a, a pair of San Diego State University geography professors claim mm -hmm. in a new, bo a new book, farmers markets are yeah. often white spaces yeah. <laughs> where the food consumption habits of white people are normalized. Now, these people are being paid with taxpayer dollars. Yes. And this is what they're researching. This is, I mean, you could file this under like reason 2,581,000 why Trump won. When everything is racist, nothing is racist anymore. You know what I mean? If you just tell everybody that everything that happens, like we, we keep saying we need to have this conversation about race in this country, but I think we need to start by defining what race is. Because in this instance, these people were given money to figure out the best way to feed low-income people. But instead, they got an opus about racism, which really isn't a very good dinner. You know, it doesn't really work. It doesn't work out that way. And I know as a white person, I've ruined macaroni and cheese, according to BuzzFeed, which was probably the one thing, Jason, that I resented the most, because I'm like 94% body fat. If there's anything I know about, if I have That's one generous. area of, yeah, it's mac and cheese. Actually. Let's be fair. <laughs> Well, uh, look, and finally, I want to talk about CNN went on a two-day quest oh, man. to blow the lid off a major conspiracy. <laughs> Why was a truck blocking their camera's view of President Trump's golf course in West Palm Beach? The <laughs> yeah, white well, box truck became the network's greatest white whale as CNN would just not let go of this story. I, I'm sure you saw it. Today, yeah, a big wa a white box truck parked in front of those hedges trying to obscure our shot of President Trump golfing. This is just so great, and we're trying to figure out where this white truck comes from. I should say, for the record, our Noah Gray has been on the case. Did you see the driver there, Sarah, like blocking his face? Did you see that? <laughs> yes, you see the driver blocking his face. Clearly, they don't they don't want you to know who's driving this truck or where this truck came from. We can see you, mister. We can see you. <laughs> breaking news, Jimmy, breaking news. Yeah, first off, this is a big deal for CNN because it's their first story of the year that doesn't come from unnamed sources. So it was a kind of a big step forward for them journalistically, but it does speak to like how deranged they've become in their never-ending quest to bring down Trump. When in the history, in the eight-year history of the Obama presidency, did you hear a word about where anyone parked anywhere during a presidential golf outing? And as a New Yorker, I think that was the most insensitive part of the story, is that they brought up this thing called a parking space, Jerry, which I've never Jerry. heard of in the month of December.